Well, thank you very much. I'm going to be brief. <laughs> I, I can see that Matthew may have a touch of jet lag there. Um, I'm very quickly going to say something about some of the themes that have really struck me today uh, before thanking everybody. Um, so you'll know when it ends in sight there. <laughs> uh, what a rich day. It's been uh, uh, most interesting, I think. There have been a, a, a number of extremely um, compelling debates. Um, uh, I work at Coventry University and every day I look at the great cathedral, um, the ruins uh, with the new cathedral uh, side onto them. Um, that is uh, the beating heart of Coventry, um, which is a place which was uh, partially destroyed by the Luftwaffe in uh, the Second World War and uh, then rather more effectively damaged by the planners immediately after it. Um, but it has made its uh, knocks and beatings part of its heritage. Uh, and it is extremely evident and uh, vital to record, I think, that what was said earlier about cultural heritage, meaning people's memories, and therefore being an incredibly important part of their identities, um, is absolutely central to uh, this theme. And that means uh, two things, it seems to me. Firstly, that uh, we do need to focus on people in working uh, with uh, archaeological heritage, and that came out in all sorts of ways today, I think, um, both uh, in, the, in the Middle East and the different approaches to uh, working with people uh, in Iraq and in Syria. Um, uh, the crowdsourcing um, was something which came up frequently in what John was saying, um, and uh, also here in the, the working with metal detectors, where working with people uh, rather than against them and of course in the amnesty that was offered to people to bring things back to the Iraq Museum. So cooperation seems to me uh, to be a key theme of today. Um, another key theme seems to be the, the enormous potential of the digital. Um, again, that was something that came up again and again from the first paper, uh, the digital archive, uh, storing up information towards potentially some kind of reconstruction, not just the <coughs> reconstruction which you can achieve through digital printing, and my goodness, what a, an amazing thing that is, <laughs> but also economic reconstruction, uh, the economic uh, reconstruction which might ultimately be helped by cultural tourism down the line. Um, the, the whole question of uh, the importance of um, having something for people to look at, not just people who are coming from hundreds and thousands of miles away, but local people to look at and see um, and um, set up souvenir shops next to. That was an encouraging sight. Um, that uh, is also something which came out again from the, uh, the, 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 the database for the, the Portable Antiquities Scheme. Uh, again, an enormous um, a, a resource um, and these uh, are all ways in which I think 21st century technology can come to the aid of the past. Um, it was also important to me anyway to uh, remember that treasures come in all shapes and sizes. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, these wonderful uh, clay tablets which are actually to me are physically very beautiful as well. Uh, they don't need to be uh, made of gold although the gold stuff's pretty good too. Um, they, they're, they're another kind of treasure. Um, and that leads me neatly back uh, to our uh, other ways of preserving ancient treasures. Um, we've got one upstairs, it's called a library. <laughs> um, uh, so I will repeat Tim's uh, plea uh, from the morning, uh, or perhaps uh, uh, the, the, to, to remind you, let's say, um, that we are desperately trying to keep uh, the treasures upstairs um, in tip-top uh, condition. 
Um, however, um, when your, your, your checkbook is open uh, and, you, and you've uh, given uh, the Hellenic and Roman Library some cash, I wonder if you might also uh, consider another form of treasure and a way in which you might secure the future of uh, some other antiquities around the world. Um, antiquities are nothing if they're not interpreted and admired and studied and loved. And the people, many, many of the people who do this, not all of the people who do it, but many of them are, um, are, are academics. Um, so if you are in generous mode, um, please consider donating to the Council for At-Risk Academics. Uh, you look up CARA on the internet, and once you've waded through Carla Delevingne and a few other uh, 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 CARAs, you end up um, with the white CARA, um, the organization that uh, brought Einstein and many others over um, uh, uh, during uh, the, the war. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a very good cause. Uh, the website has a lot of very interesting stories on it. Um, obviously, they've been very active in the countries we've been talking about today, but sadly there are many other countries around the world where the same thing uh, could happen. Um, and they will always also need academics to help reconstruct their cultural heritage. Um, well, today's uh, going to be preserved for uh, the future. Um, I, I think it was a treasure myself. I've really enjoyed it. Um, actually, on the, the two societies who both have a YouTube channel, so they're going to be on both. It's going to be on both of those. Um, and uh, finally, I should thank everyone. Um, firstly, the speakers and the chairs. Uh, secondly, everyone involved in organising it, um, particularly Fiona. Where's Fiona? Fiona is at the back and deserves a round of applause, I think. <laughs> and also Philip Kay, who's uh, expertly chaired the last final session. It was a very difficult meeting to chair because there's so many, so many people in such a large room. Uh, and has also been extremely helpful in organising things. Um, uh, I'd like to, to um, also thank our, our, our filmers and camera work uh, people, and uh, especially, uh, especially the microphone lady who, who uh, has got a lot of exercise today. Um, and finally, thank you all for coming. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll consider coming to more Hellenic and Roman Society events in the future. Thank you very much indeed.